Okay, so. The Ultimate Book of Shadows by the New Generation Solitary Witch, Silver Ravenwolf. I know there's a lot of, like, I don't want to say heated, but there is a lot of discussion about Silver and her books. And, like, I believe I have read some of her other books before the library stopped um, having it in circulation. And likely a reason why I don't I remember having that information stuck in my head from her because I didn't get what she was saying from those books. But with this, it's almost it's okay because there's basic information within here. Like, I skipped over her section on spells because like I've looked at them and like I don't want to do those because like to me I don't think it's relevant for a person to say if you want a money spell or a love spell you have to do this this and this they don't need to know your intent of why you're doing it. So, I've kind of just skipped over that. And people likely say, oh, you don't. Why did you skip over it? Why did you even get it? Because that's. Because, like, I got this because there are some interesting things in here. Like, Last thing before the notes, Pagan Pride. To me, I don't know why that would be the last thing she would put in the book. But at least, like, to me, at least she put it in there. Because if it was in the beginning, like, uh, yeah, yeah, she doesn't even give a reason to why she put it in. Cause like it's after her conclusion, so it would be nice to give a little more about it. But you know, like if you really want to know more about this verse, I guess I don't know if I haven't really looked online to see if there's more than just this, but. I'm gonna sound really, my voice is gonna sound really different than I actually do, so. Anyway, um, so she's got circle casting, um, rites of passages, um, invocation, invocation, uh, self dedication. Um, candle and wax. Um, I mark this because, like, I'm, I have a thing for candles. I don't know why. Maybe because I'm an Aries and the fire sign. <laughs> I don't know. But, I marked it. <laughs> um, so there's general rules of successful magic. Um, there's eight of those she has, and then some other um, stuff about magic. Like magical rules of the craft, why magic sometimes fails. So at least she puts on why it why magic can't always be successful as some other people would likely say. Um, um, so. Uh, like, if, okay. General rules of successful magic. Okay. Every action has an equal reaction. You learn that in science. If it's going to work for the physical world, it's going to work m magically. It's going to work 
um, even like spirituality, emotional, whatever dimension you're in, it's going to have a reaction. So, uh, so like, if you send out something good, something would good will happen. If you send out something bad, something will bad will happen. Not directly to the person or thing you're aiming at. It might bite you in the butt. So, beware. The longer you practice magic, the more adept you will become to it. So, like, she has the thing, like, if you read one book, you're not going to be an instant practitioner or expert. It's a learning process. Like, I don't think you can reach a point that you not learn something. Like, I think life is a continuous learning pattern, because, like, this practice, practice, I'll always learn something. I'll always get something from a, someone's different point of view, like, like on YouTube, on blogs, on websites. You always get something different, and you're like, oh, okay, I didn't see it that way. Um, okay, three, as best you can keep your thoughts and actions pure. Because, like, everybody wants to do something good, and if you try and do that, um, you'll have a better chance of the good happening. So, like, like, if you say, like, like, I'm hoping this person will be better from this car accident or something. Then that will go on to that person and, like, they'll get it. But if you say, oh, want this person to even get worse and blah 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 blah, there's a good chance they'll come back at you. So, what you think you create. So, like, it's just like your thought process, like, like, how, what you think, like, positively or negatively, negatively, can't talk today, will affect you, like, in your brain, what you're doing, like, actually, physically, it'll affect you on so many levels, so, try and, like, do better than you are, I guess, <laughs> um, okay, five, what you believe you will man manifest, so, I believe this is a pen, pen. <laughs> Basic way I can get, um, get that one. Um, six, magic works better if added to a spiritual foundation. You're more connected to that spell if you're more spiritually into it. Um, seven, magic does not replace hard work. You have to work for shit. Magic can add into a little more success. And eight, do not use magic for illegal gain and don't use anything in circle that might have been stolen. So say, stole this from my sister. Which one doesn't matter. And I use it for in one of my spells for something for me, my friend, one of my sisters, it'll backfire because it doesn't matter, like I don't think it doesn't matter if like I purify, consecrate it, whatever, it's still a stolen pen, though I did buy this, so I didn't steal it from my sister. So there, yeah. Okay, I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna stop this right now.